Kitisa Revi'i. At the end of the previous section, we read about Moshe Rabbeinu asking Hashem for another request. And this request was that he would reside his presence, that Hashem would reside his, reside his Shekhinah amongst Bnei Israel and not the other nations. At the beginning of this section, Hashem actually answers Moshe Rabbeinu and tells him that indeed he is going to grant him that wish as well, and he will reside his presence only with Bnei Israel. After Moshe Rabbeinu saw that his requests were being answered positively by Kadosh Baruch Hu, he had one more request, and his request was, Hashem, I want to see your honor. The verse is, Har na et kibodecha, which that, along with Hashem's answer, may be one of the most difficult sections to understand in our entire Torah. The commentaries all weigh in trying to explain what Moshe Rabbeinu's request was, what Hashem's answer was, and the simplest explanation is that of the Eben Ezra. The Eben Ezra says that, Hashem, that, that Moshe Rabbeinu just wanted to know the essence of Hashem. He wanted to understand HaKadosh Baruch Hu in a deeper way, obviously in a spiritual way, because Hashem is not physical. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu did give Moshe Rabbeinu an answer, and he told him that yes, indeed, he will show him a part of his honor and not all of it. And he showed him his back, alluding to that Hashem is only answering Moshe Rabbeinu's request partly. The Talmud, however, tells us that indeed HaKadosh Baruch Hu did show Moshe Rabbeinu a physical image of himself, which is, again, way beyond our comprehension and, and whatever, ha whatever that means. However, in that image, interestingly enough, the Talmud tells us, the back of HaKadosh Baruch Hu's neck did have a knot of tefillin on it the same way that we do. And from there, we learn that HaKadosh Baruch Hu also wears tefillin, and the Talmud explains the different parashiot, the different portions that are in his tefillin, opposed to our tefillin. Again, a very deep concept that many commentaries all try to explain, because obviously HaKadosh Baruch Hu is not a physical being. Thank <laughs> you.